Hello, I'm Jodie Taylor, the Chief Executive Officer of Supply Nation. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians on the various lands on which we gather across this beautiful country. And I pay my deep respect to Elders past, present and emerging. It's my seventh week as CEO and it has certainly been a productive period. Last week, I was honoured to participate in the National Jobs and Skills Summit in Canberra. As you can imagine, this was an incredible opportunity to join leaders from diverse sectors, including the premiers and chief ministers from each state and territory, to discuss national issues, including how to provide a more even playing field for minority groups in business, such as First Nations people, women and people living with disabilities, all issues very close to my heart. We welcome the 36 immediate initiatives from the summit and are very much looking forward to continuing to work closely with the government on support measures for the Indigenous business sector. Prior to the summit, I had the opportunity to meet with the Minister for Indigenous Australians, the Honourable Linda Burney, along with Supply Nation co-chairs Michael McLeod and Scott Wharton. We had a positive discussion about the opportunities to enhance engagement with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses and potential measures to improve safeguards against black cladding. Supply Nation has a world-leading five-step verification process and provides peace of mind that the businesses on Indigenous Business Direct are truly Indigenous-owned. However, we have long advocated the benefits of amendments to the Federal Government's Indigenous Procurement Policy to align with our certification standard which is 51% or more Indigenous owned, managed and controlled. This of course adds yet another safeguard towards reducing the potential for black cladding to occur, a practice which effectively dilutes the integrity of the Indigenous business sector. We certainly commend Minister Burney and the Federal Government for a strong and swift focus on Indigenous engagement and we look forward to continuing positive discussions around opportunities to stamp out black cladding and explore diverse ways to foster the long-term viability of the Indigenous business sector. Over the coming months, I look forward to further connecting with stakeholders and working across diverse landscapes to explore ways to strengthen relationships, form collaborations and broaden our global footprint across supply chains. <laughs>